Hey there, it's Brian Citron. Thanks for tuning in. I'm out here in Los Angeles, and as you know, I'm a missionary on the UCLA campus, but also I'm a missionary to the country of Haiti. As you probably know, I just took my 14th trip down to Haiti in March, and uh, once we got back from that trip, um, we hit the ground running for the, uh, the UCLA school year, finishing it up for the third quarter, and we had an exciting blitz week. We brought in multiple guest speakers, and God just been really doing awesome stuff in the lives of the ministry and awesome stuff in my life. Um, just a, a quick testimony from the trip that we took to Haiti. Um, I was excited that we were able to have a, uh, a big youth revival service and uh, there's tons of kids there and there's so many kids there that after service we had to go outside to pray for everybody. And so here's a picture um, of all the kids afterwards um, before we prayed for them. So that was super exciting. And of course we got to feed lots of kids too. And so here's a photo um, of one of the kids that we got to help out. Um, super cute photo. And the reason that he was able to eat and the reason many other people were able to eat was because of we were there. And, um, and so one of the nights, there were so many kids there, we had to just set them down um, in the single file row so we could make sure everybody got fed. And so here's that photo. Um, you might have seen it on Facebook if you're following me. Um, but that's a little bit about the trip to Haiti. And uh, I also want to share with you some, uh, some insight that I thought was very inspirational from one of our guest speakers we brought in. Uh, you probably heard of him before. His name's Sean Smith. This guy is a really powerful, anointed prophetic evangelist. He speaks all around the world at conferences in front of tens of thousands of people. And this guy is super anointed. Whenever he speaks, God's power is always there. People get healed. He moves prophetically. And, uh, and he's got to speak alongside of many of the generals of the faith. Like he's been able to, you know, speak with Reinhard Bonnke, speak with Leonard Ravenhill, Tim Story. Mario Murillo, and the list goes on, and ask them questions. And so I asked them, what was some of the most inspirational stuff that these people have, uh, have told him? And he gave me a, a series of answers, but I want to share one of the thoughts that he shared with me with you real quick. And this is from Mario Murillo, and um, I'm going to read it to you. He said, Sean, the presence of problems doesn't mean the absence of Jesus. If the presence of problems meant the absence of Jesus, the Apostle Paul would not have written the book of Philippians in a prison because he would have believed the presence of problems meant the absence of Jesus. Instead, he wrote the book of Philippians and slaps the devil upside the head each time a saint reads it, that book and is encouraged. And that was a super encouraging thought. And so no matter what you're going through, no matter what problem that's going on in your life, just because you have a problem doesn't mean Jesus is not there. Remember, the Apostle Paul was in the prison cell when he wrote the book of Philippians. And the Philippians is where we get Philippians 4.13. I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me. The book of Philippians is where we have 4.6, which is be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds of Christ Jesus. If anybody had the right to be anxious, it was Paul. He's in a prison cell. You never even know back then the kind of threat that was looming over him while he was in prison. Um, but yet, he wrote this to be an encouragement to the church. And I'm recording this video to be an encouragement to you. Just because you're dealing with something doesn't mean that God's not there. And he's going to take you through it. And he may not, he may not desire for you to be in a situation, but he's gonna, it's his desire to get you out of the situation. So be encouraged. Um, I'm taking my, four, my 15th trip down to Haiti coming up next month. So you'll be hearing from me again shortly. Blessings. I appreciate you. Until next time, um, have a great, great day. Bye-bye.